Welcome to Around the World Channel. Webb Space Telescope launch delayed until 2021 NPR. In 2017, technicians lift the mirror assembly of the James Webb Space Telescope using a crane inside a clean room at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, MD. Brazil surpasses 2 million coronavirus cases, with more than 76,000 dead, CBS News. Since late May, three months after Brazil's first reported case of the coronavirus, it has recorded more than 1,000 daily deaths on average, a gruesome plateau that has yet to tilt downward. Battling wind and rustiness, Tiger Woods feels, good, in return to action, CNN International. CNN, during any normal golf tournament, the words on the tee, Tiger Woods are usually followed by rapturous applause from the gathered crowd. Ultra black fish discovered in depths of ocean, new study says, Fox News. In the dark depths of the ocean where camouflage can be life-saving, scientists have discovered the blackest fish ever documented, according to a new study. British Airways retires its entire fleet of Boeing 747 jets, CNBC. British Airways, currently the largest operator of the Boeing 747, said it would retire its entire fleet of the iconic aircraft earlier than expected due to the coronavirus downturn. Supreme Court deals major blow to ex-felons' right to vote in Florida, NPR. The U.S. Supreme Court has left in place a lower court order that likely will prevent hundreds of thousands of ex-felons in Florida from voting in the November election. U.S., Canada, U.K. accuse Russia of hacking COVID-19 vaccine trials, USA Today. Pressure to create a coronavirus vaccine is increasing by the day, but for a safe vaccine to enter the market, it takes time. Live Coronavirus Cases Updates, The New York Times. India on Friday surpassed a million confirmed infections and 25,000 deaths, weeks after the government lifted a nationwide lockdown in hopes of getting the economy up and running. Caitlyn Jenner says she wants to be on the ballot with Kanye, Daily Mail. Caitlyn Jenner wants to join Kanye West on the ballot, at least in the states where he hasn't already missed crucial filing deadlines. The reality TV star, 70, wants to be considered as VP.